Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages I get from Spirit and from all of us on this journey to love. And this is for those who are on a twin flame soul to soul journey, reuniting with our twins. And so, what I want to share, what I'm guided, being guided to do is pull a sacred geometry card and also a work your light card to help us. <clears throat> and um, so I'm going to do the sacred geometry first. And so this is the deck of the cards and the card that wants to come through is miracles. <laughs> and it is number 33. So 33 is double three, it's the Ascended Masters. So it is the Ascended Masters being strongly, re uh, strongly, very strongly have been around, Jesus and Mary especially. Um, but miracles are happening. Um, I have to say that my, my, yeah, I was just going to say that my mum met up with her twin again after four years and they've met up now twice. And this was a couple of days ago and she um, told, told him a bit about how she felt. And uh, so straight after she was like, oh, I don't know whether I should have done it. I don't know. And all the fears came back again. And then she said to me, actually, I am, you know, I did her reading again. And in the reading, it was all like, you know, basically all there. It was about being the high priestess and trusting and, you know, believing in the, what, it was the moon and it was the lovers. And it, I mean, it was all there. Um, but she said to me after, she said, actually, I am really pleased because at least I've told him and it feels like I've sown the seeds or planted the seeds. And um, and then other people then have also um, said the same thing to me over this weekend. So I think there has been communications happening. And so again, we all mirror each other. And um, so it doesn't surprise me that this is that there has been quite a few this has happened to. So miracles are happening. So, a miracle can be described as an extraordinary event or occurrence in our everyday reality that cannot be explained within our existing paradigm or belief system and is therefore attributed to a higher or supernatural cause. <laughs> our belief in the possibility of miracles is closely connected to our belief in the divine itself and with that belief, our trust in the unlimited possibilities the universe can provide. In these changing times, in the new energy that we're all creating, multidimensionality is rapidly saturating almost all areas of our lives and being. There is much we don't understand and cannot explain within our current way of thinking. When we relax and accept that we are in an era of many mysteries yet to be revealed, we can start living our lives with the expectation that miracles and benevolent change can happen in any moment. In the miracle activation, the color purple indicates a deep connection to the divine or source. The yellow refers to our sense of self as we realize that we are spiritual beings in a corporeal body, an expression of the divine. There are nine light sources around, a number that stands for completion and indicates the ultimate realization that we are one with source. And so this is what they're, they're, they're saying to try. So do you believe in miracles? Have you experienced anything that was miraculous? What miracles do you want to happen in your life? And what are you doing to make them happen? Do you realize that life is full of miracles, including every child that is born, every breath we take and every flower that blooms? Can you think of five miracles that you experience every day? Well, just all of the crazy synchronicities that we all experience between us for a start is one. Um, there are just so many miracles, you know, every day waking up and realizing that we are created um, with the other half of our soul or the same vibration and we're all born out of love. That's pretty miraculous to me. And um, so many things are happening. It really does feel like, and the, the one thing that my mum said this being... <clears throat> really, really stuck with me. She said, I feel like, because um, we went to for lunch today with some friends, and she said, it feels so weird because I feel like um, when I'm with other people, I feel like it's a different 
Uh, I can't remember what she said, but it's basically, it's like, it's like you're in a parallel universe. So of course, when you're with your twin or when you're with like-minded kind of high frequency people, um, it does feel totally different. So it does almost feel that split between, you know, it does feel like a bit like you're in a parallel universe. <laughs> it's really odd. And I'm starting to feel that more and more and more. Um, especially because my work is this, you know, doing readings for people, healings and doing this channel. Um, more and more it's getting, you know, and also because I do the bed and breakfast, like literally every single guest has got the synchronicities are ridiculous. And it does feel like I'm living in this very weird parallel universe. But I said to my mum, it's just, oh, look at that. I've just put, I just said, okay, what work your light do we need? And it's the awakening. <laughs> and it is because, you know, when we're going out and we're like walking around in the normal world, um, we are on a different frequency. So it does, uh, the higher frequency you get, the, um, the more you feel it as well. So I think because my mum's just met with her twin, of, of course, they've, they've recalibrated their energies and so I think she's feeling that super strongly at the moment. And uh, so it just shows you as well as, as to why you need to have that. Like we need to re go and recalibrate our energies on our own and then come back. And then, you know, there that's why there is this kind of to and fro, to and fro. Because again, we are just energy. That's what, you know, and this is what, this is what we're all waking up to. So the work your light card is this. It's awakening. You are going through a period of awakening. Things are changing within you and at many levels. You are starting to remember ancient truths and discovering more and more about who you are and why you incarnated. You may find that you're expecting past life flashbacks, seeing the invisible thread that is woven through all of life, or even feeling Kundalini Shakti rise through your body from the base of your spine. The most important thing for this time is not to overthink it, but to stay grounded. Share your experiences with like soul people while you consciously integrate them. Journal and pay attention to your dreams. You are remembering and your soul gifts are emerging. During this time of transition and awakening, you may be called to devote yourself to being of service. There are ideas, truths, concepts, books and creations waiting to be birthed into this world. Stay open to receiving them. Pulling this card may be a sign that you are here to birth one of these creations into the world. I mean, how many, <laughs> how many synchronicities about writing a book has been coming through? Look, this is crazy. <laughs> the pulling this card may be a sign to use your creative to including books. I mean, it's just crazy. Or perhaps you've been called to make a shift in your life in order to be of service. Don't think too much about it. Instead, repeat the following work your light activation, which is, I surrender to my awakening. I allow the Shakti energy to rise from the base of my spine. I open myself up to the universe, using me in a way that delights my mind, body and spirit. So, welcome in miracles and enjoy this awakening. I'm going to read that again. It is, I surrender to my awakening. I allow the Shakti energy to rise from the base of my spine. I open myself up to the universe using me in a way that delights my mind, body and spirit. So we are all awakening more and more and more and more. And um, just so many crazy synchronicities that are going on at the moment. I know that for loads of people people keep saying oh my god it's just gone off the charts what's going on and we're just we're just rising higher you know our vibration is getting stronger and stronger and stronger so that's why be open to miracles expect miracles to happen look at that look what's underneath it romantic love so i am feeling very drawn to read romantic love of course because that's what we are opening up to. So, love is probably the most sought after, mysterious, indeterminate and fulfilling feeling that a human can experience. Its mystery surely derives from the fact that we cannot really describe or define what it is. 
is oh um is it an energy is it an emotion perhaps it is simply the glue that binds everything together whatever it is we know without a doubt when we feel loved and when we love as vibrational beings we hold a frequency that aligns with the frequency of our thoughts and our emotions and from that vibration vibrational point of attention we attract everything else into our reality love is one of the highest frequencies and when we are in a state of love, we easily attract circumstances and people into our reality that are aligned with that frequency. The love that is so desired and fulfilling for many is romantic love. The love we experience with another when we are in love. The expression of being in love suggests that it is a place where we can be, not just a feeling that we have. When we are in love, we feel completely surrounded and engulfed by it. We are in the middle of it with no awareness of where it begins or where it ends. Our world becomes love and we feel more complete. This journey of becoming whole and complete within can be taken alone, but many prefer the support of another. But the idea that another is merely a reflection of that, which we need in order to complete ourselves and achieve a state of wholeness, leads to many misconceptions and expectations in romantic relationships. The most that any lover can do for us is bring us closer to ourselves. By focusing on our own heart and soul, we invite our lover to do the same. When both lovers are conscious of this, a romantic relationship can be deeply fulfilling and supportive of our individual quest for completeness. The romantic love image shows a flower that pours out vibrancy and intensity from its centre, the source that we are all connected to. There is an unmistakable beauty that moves and attracts beyond reason. It is simply inviting us to dive in. The colours suggest the delicious richness that we feel when we allow deep absorption. The bright blue background indicates both the vast universe that is at the origin of every energy and the clear expression that romantic love invites us into. The colour pink is associated with the universal love of oneself and others, with sweetness, tenderness and care. Brighter pink brings in an aspect of aliveness, excitement, high energy and power. Reds refer to the physical plane, the place where we desire to experience this love. And the guidance says, take a moment to go inside yourself and contemplate the love in your life. Have you ever been deeply in love? What did you learn about yourself through your lover? What are you looking for in a romantic relationship? Which parts of you are easy to love and which parts are perhaps a little harder? Write down all the things you love about yourself. <laughs> well, so just love me because just with that, all about love is I've been reading more and more people's stories that they've been sending in. <clears throat> and again, overwhelmingly gorgeous, overwhelmingly synchronistic. <laughs> overwhelmingly overwhelming <laughs> just just another level yet again it's just amazing I have to say the account of these relationships is just truly truly off the scale beautiful in every way so I just want to say thank you so much to everyone that's sending in their stories if you want to share your story then please do tf story in the subject line to Divine Love Crystal Grid. Details are in the link. And what an amazing way to share this romantic love with others to help them on their journey. So I hope that helps. And uh, yeah, just quite a lot of miracles happening. So be open, live with an open heart and ask the Ascendance Masters to help because they have been around super strong recently. All right, I hope that helps. Take care. Bye.